Hello, and welcome to Crafting With You. What do we have today? Bear Pops. These are made with Oreo cookies, and these are made with mini donuts. Super easy to make, come together really quickly, and most of all, they're super cute, right? So if you'd like to learn how to make these, please follow along with me, and let's get started. You're gonna need some Oreos. I got the double stuffed type and a mini Oreo. I got these just from my kids' snack pack. And did you know that Oreos have different flavors? I didn't know that. And I got this one. I was picking the, up the double stuff. And oh my gosh, these are really, really good. So if you like iced coffee like I do, where my husband makes fun of me that my coffee is more like coffee candy, this, this flavor tastes just like an iced coffee. So go ahead and pick some of that up if you feel like it. So back to the Oreo. So you're gonna get the Oreo, and the first thing you're gonna do is open up both of them. Be gentle because sometimes when I'm a little too rough because it gets stuck, I end up breaking the cookie. So you're just gonna twist and open, and sometimes like this one, it comes open very easily. Do the same thing with the mini, twist and open. The next thing you're gonna do is removing cream. So from the mini Oreo, you're gonna take off all the cream and on this part, which is the face of the bear, you're gonna take off half of the top and then create a little divot for the lollipop stick. And I'll show you how to do that. So here you have the Oreo, the part with the cream. I'm just using a regular butter knife and you're going to take off the top half of the cream. So measure the halfway point, go in and be gentle not to break the cookie. And if you do that, it comes off very easily. So there you go, took off the half. Now you're going to make a divot right here where the lollipop stick's gonna go. So again, find the halfway point and carefully, let's see, do one cut right here and one cut right here and then hold this cream so make sure your hands are clean right hold this two sides and then you're going to gently lift this middle part right out there you go and so now you have a little channel or a divot where the lollipop stick is going to go and now you're ready to assemble. So make sure you have the part that you took out the cream and made a divot for the lollipop stick. The top half to your Oreo, your two minis that you took the cream off of, and your lollipop stick. This is a six inch lollipop, lollipop stick. Sorry, I can't say the word. So what you're gonna do is get some melted chocolate and I put some in a bag just like this in a parchment bag and I made myself a little piping bag. If you have your own piping bag, that's great. I just didn't want to waste one to put this. And this melted chocolate will act like your glue. So first things first, you're gonna put your lollipop stick in. Pipe some chocolate into where the divot is, just like this. And then Place your popsicle stick right in. On days like today, where I'm shooting this video, it's actually pretty cold. It's, what is it in my house? Let me see. It's like 62 degrees in my house. I don't want to turn on the heater because I'm by myself. So I'm bearing through the cold. So again, see how cold, <laughs> it's so cold, it's solidifying very quickly. Next thing you're gonna do is add on your bear ears and these Oreos will be your ears. So what you're gonna do is, just so you can see where the placement is, right on either side of the lollipop stick. And you know what, you can, let me make this closer. You can take the bottom of where you took the cream off as kind of your, um, your level of how far to go down. As long as the bottom of the mini hits right there, that should be good so that you know each side is even. As far as where to place them, I would say the last third of your cookie. I tried doing half, but when I realized you cover it with chocolate, a lot of the ears goes away. So 
even if you feel like it's a little too much ear, it'll actually look better once you cover it with chocolate. So get your melted chocolate again. Let's see. Pipe some melted chocolate onto here. And it's so cold in my house, this chocolate is already solidifying, so I gotta be quick. So let's see. You have a couple of seconds to actually fine tune this once you put this down. So there, and I'm gonna try to be really quick with this. Some chocolate there, and last third, right there. Ugh. See, this is what happens sometimes it's okay, I have the melted chocolate. Just put some down. It acts like glue, right? So we're gonna put it right back in. There you go. Now when you're all done with this, you're going to put more melted chocolate here and put it right on top. And look, you have your bare face. It's now time to assemble the Bear Pops. These are what the Bear Pops in its bear form looks like, what we just made. And you know what? If you want to stop right here and just use these as is like a bear silhouette, that's totally fine. I know not everyone has the time and the patience and the budget to do the full tutorial. So if this is good with you, it's good with me too. If you wanna go a little further, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the whole thing. And I wanted to show you all the parts first because again, it's cold in my house, so the, the chocolate's gonna set really fast. I have to move really quickly. And so I wanted to show you all the parts before I actually start putting things together. Once we dip this and cover this in chocolate, we're gonna be making the muzzle, which is made of these white chocolate wafers. These are candy melts, and it's just the bright white color. I think there's also just a white color too, but either of those are fine and that's gonna become the muzzle. So we're gonna be putting it, let me see. So you're gonna putting it right there, like that. And then we have the eyes and the nose right here. These are just black pearls, edible black pearls, and these are jelly beans. And you can do either a pink nose or a black nose, totally up to you. If you wanna see, ah, if you wanna see the eyes, let me show you where. I got these at Michael's. These are pearl beads, black. It doesn't have a size, because I know when I was looking these up on Amazon, they had millimeters, but if you want to see them against my hand, they're pretty tiny. Okay, so we're going to put those right here, and the nose right there. And then if you wanted to do like a feminine bear or you know against a masculine bear, they had these little rose sprinkles at Joann's and I picked some of these up. You can put this right there, right by the ear, like it has a little rose by its ear. How cute is that? So I'm gonna start assembling it. It's gonna go really quickly. So let's get started with that part. So now I'm ready to dip my Bear Pop. I have my melted chocolate. Please melt according to the manufacturer's directions. And I added some Easy Thin, which is a thinning medium because I thought it was a little too thick. So let's see, consistency. Can you see that? It's hard to see, huh? It's a little runny, but it's not too bad. It's not like pudding or anything. So go ahead and get your bear pop. Let's see, how to make this easy to film. Okay, we're gonna dip it and then put it down. One thing, precaution. Because we used melted chocolate to secure the lollipop stick in the ears, if you leave it in here too long, like dilly dallying, the whole thing is gonna fall apart. And I'm speaking from experience because I had everything fall into that cup before because I was waiting too long. I wanted to make it perfect. So really quick in and out, shake off a little bit of the excess, put it down. Okay. 
Okay, shake off the excess. And what is that piece of thing right there? Let's see. Okay, do I want to risk <laughs> trying to fix that? Probably not. I have other ones, so if it doesn't look great, I can just take this one out. So this one is done, covered in chocolate. We're gonna put it down to put the rest of the um, face on. Okay, let's add our muzzle before the chocolate sets. So here you go, your white wafer. Candy melt right there at the base. We're gonna put our eyes and I'm gonna use tweezers because I know I'm gonna mess up if I try to use my fingers. So just drop one down there. Get the other eye, drop it down right there. You have some time, so if you want to move it a little bit, that's good right there. For your nose, let's, do you wanna do the pink one? Let's do the pink one. You're just gonna add a little bit of melted chocolate onto the jelly bean. So I added like that. And then I can't use my tweezers because it doesn't open this big. And then you're just gonna put it right onto the nose, hold it for a couple of seconds, and you're done. If you want to make this a girl bear or like a female version, this is that rose sprinkle. I'm gonna drop it down, let's hope. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> let's hope I do it right in the spot I want. Perfect. Use my tweezers and let's see, let's move it a little more up. Right there. Sorry, I'm being a perfectionist, aren't I? I like it right there. So look at this. Excuse that. I think it's an air bubble. But anyways, how cute is this? I love this. I'm gonna do a few more and I'll do like a boy version and I'll show you what it looks like with a black nose. Before I show you the completed product with the Oreo with the black nose, did you know that you can also make these with mini donuts? So I want to show you really quickly how to do that. So again, instead of the Oreo cookie, you would, this is gonna be the face of your bear. You're gonna need the same two mini Oreos for your ears, and you're going to have to insert these. And of course, you know, trying to put them in here might crack the donut. So get a butter knife, kind of estimate where you want the ears to be. So I think for me, and then what you're gonna do is just make little slits here. So go in right there. And then I think my next ear, so since it's here, you know what? Maybe it's easier if you put it in first and then you can estimate. So take this and just stick it right in, just like that. That's one ear. And then let's see, the ear, you know, here looks good, right? So then just take your knife, go in, right there, take your mini Oreo and stuff it in right there. And look, it's kind of the same thing, right, as your Oreo cookie. And then you'll do your popsicle stick right in here. You dip into your melted chocolate, you add the muzzle and the eyes, and if you wanna make a girl, um, the rose and the nose, and it's the exact same thing. So at the end, I'm gonna show you what this also looks like all put together. But I thought that was a great option that you could try. Here you go, here's the finished product. These two were made from the Oreos. So here's the one with the rose and the pink nose. And this is just, I'm gonna call it the plain bear or the one with the black nose. If you wanna make the version with the mini donut, here you go. These are actually really cute too. Sorry about the little bubbles. It, it's so cold in my house. The chocolate set up really fast. So even if there were any bubbles, I wasn't able to work them out. But if it's warmer in your house when you make them, you'll be able to, you know, if you keep kind of tapping like against the cup like this, the bubbles should work its way out. These are really cute as party favors or party treats. If you want to have them on the table, 
um, for your party, that's great too. You can have like a cake pop stand and you could like stand them up. Or if you want to give these out, these sell like little plastic treat bags. You just stick it in here, tie it with ribbon and with a little tag or something. And that would be amazing to give out also. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. It's pretty easy once you get the, um, once you get all the materials together, it go it comes together really quickly. So there's many more tutorials, crafting tutorials on my channel. So please go ahead and check it out. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Crafting With You.